You are now entering the divine headquarters. What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed and awesome day. I want to welcome back to the channel, my OGs. Thank y'all for your continued love and support. I really do appreciate everything you got, that you guys do. And if you are new here, and if you're liking how we are vibing, go ahead, ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you to be a part of the fam as well. Um, I want y'all to stay tuned. I'm about to do a giveaway soon. I think I'm going to post the giveaway on a community tab. So just be paying attention to that community tab. I'm going to post it over there. Uh, and we'll see what, what uh, the giveaway is going to be. Okay, so y'all just stay tuned for that. Um, let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. I was going here. I was going to bang the drum around this piece. But where the drum? Where the drum? I don't know. Well, anyways, we're going to clear it out here. All right. Um, Let's start us off with an angel number. I like starting off with angel numbers, too. I don't know why. Maybe that's the that's a little phase that I'm going through right now. <laughs> We're gonna start this thing. Start this thing, God right. We're gonna start it out with an angel number. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> angel number to of today is one, two, three, four. Bro, let me tell y'all something. Comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG one, two, three. Y'all know the vibes, baby. Y'all see it right there live in the limit color. This telling the, uh, us that it's good luck on the cards for the collective. You feel me? Your spirit guides are all around you. This marks a period and the beginning of progress in your life. Justice, if you've been dealing with any injustices, some of y'all may be maybe getting uh, um, um, a verdict in your favor in a court case. I'm here for somebody here. Uh, you may have some sort of spiritual injustice that's going to turn out in your favor. All right. But this is about fairness, okay? I'm getting fairness is going to be played on your situation. Like, you might not think that you got an upper hand or that somebody else has an upper hand, especially if they are some sort of quote-unquote authority, okay? Uh, know that I just heard every dog has this day. I love dogs, but you know what I'm saying? That's the saying. Uh, confirmation right there. That could be somebody who who was fighting against you. There could have been somebody who was campaigning against you. I'm getting some sort of bad judgment, some sort of misjudgment, some sort of some bully. OK, what's, what's up with this bully? Some dictator, some somebody abusing authority for somebody. This could be somebody abusing authority in the workplace or somebody just don't like you in general. OK, but either way, good luck. Okay, we got conditioning, uh, structure, system, process, conditioning, and rules. Okay, I'm getting spiritual laws at play here. So if anybody has been breaking the spiritual laws, that will be corrected and addressed. Okay, I'm hearing it's going to be addressed. Judgment going to be called on this situation. And things are going to be put back into its proper space. Or mofos going to be getting their judgment and getting their punishment. It is what it is. You feel me? The message on this card says you are on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to into place. OK, so somebody here, you got a spirit guide. This could be an ancestor. This could be just an angelic spirit guide or something like that. Did you have on the other side who may be uh, giving you this extra sense of comfort okay somebody may be needing some sort of comfort or maybe needing some sort of confirmation about whether or not you're doing the right thing about whether or not things should be going how they're going yeah i'm hearing things are going well for you and to not let the situation get you down okay this fell off of the uh off of my um my shelf over here when I was moving other cards and we have surrounded by a bunch of NPCs, zombies and sleepers. So y'all may be you may be surrounded right now by people who is like hell asleep. They don't know what the hell going on, but they got a million and one opinions, but they got the loudest mouth. They talking to you. I'm hearing you may be it may be somebody around you who is loud and wrong, 
loud and wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh, it go this way. Or calling you stupid or make, making you feel like that uh, what you know to be true is not true. Or your perspective on a certain situation, certain lifestyle, certain uh, spirituality, spiritual beliefs for some people too. That is not real. Or that is not sensible is what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing here. Sensible. Y'all may be having a hard, like, you may feel like you alone. You may very well be alone. Because I wouldn't want to feel like I'm part of one of the guys with NPCs, zombies, and sleepers. I don't know about y'all, but I'm good. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather just be one person. I'm here. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever see. It's like, bro, whatever. We deal with it. You feel me? We we, we, we uh run through it. It ain't nothing to us. It ain't nothing to a G, period. You feel me? We find something to do. <laughs> I'm here and we find something to do. But you may be coming across people who just try to make things hard for you because you don't agree with them or because you don't believe in their religion. You don't believe in their spiritual spirituality. You don't act how they act. You don't live a lifestyle how they live. Or you, don't approve, you might not approve of their lifestyle and they don't approve of your lifestyle either. You feel me? Somebody here, somebody thinks you weird. You feel me? <clears throat> they think you weird. It said an inv invitation. Somebody here might get an invitation to dinner, lunch, movies, park, a meeting. It says, oh, somebody here, you might be attracting somebody new in your life. It says, don't chase, attract. We are not one of them. Yeah, you're not one of, you don't, I feel like somebody here, you may have been wanting to date some, date, date or put yourself out there. But you may have found it hard based off of how life is right now or how society is right now. Uh, you might not like the normal, like what everybody else is doing. You might not like that. You might not resonate with it. Right. Like, let's say if everybody's going online or having apps and shit like that, you might not do that. And it may be hard for you to find people that way because you're not there. You know what I mean? But. I feel like something is going to happen. Something is going to transpire for you in that area. I don't know. This divine, if this divine intervention, I don't know what that is. But it says, miss me with disrespect. We don't do that. Yeah. It's like you guys are putting your foot down. You're like, don't disrespect me. Don't talk to me crazy. Don't handle me any kind of way. It's not going to happen. Some of you guys, people may have been used to you. Ooh. I just heard you see you being the doormat. You see you being easy going. So easy going. I just heard, don't take it personal, take the bit away. It's like people being used to doing things to you, treating you any kind of way, and they tell you don't take it personal. Bruh, what the fuck? I just heard, bruh. The family doesn't respect you, but you're breaking generational curses. Look at that, bro. It's like somebody here, your family may have ostracized, uh, calling you, if I can say it, <laughs> calling you, if I can say it right ostracize you to the point where it's like y'all don't realize what i'm doing for y'all behind the scenes like you think that i'm so weird you think that i'm so uh evil you think that i'm so wrong by what i'm doing how i live my life and da, 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 da. and they don't even realize your importance you're like an earth angel a hidden earth angel hidden um divine being like you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to be like oh uh, you're so da, da, da. I'm just saying like they don't even it's like hidden what's that what's that um undercover boss like on that show undercover boss is like you there as a CEO and nobody knows that you're the CEO they treated you like everybody else but in this case they're mistreating you you know what I mean disrespecting you they're not showing you love they're not showing you support they're not making it easy for you to live out your true potential. And I'm hearing in some cases, they're trying to prevent you, trying to deter you from being authentic, to deter you from being your loving, authentic self. I'm hearing that God wants you to know right now, it's like you're beautiful, handsome, inside and out, right? Just the way that you are. You don't have to change anything for anybody to appease anybody. You are who you are because that's who you're meant to be. You know what I mean? And 
some of us are born into families um, to where they don't respect us. They don't agree with us. They don't they don't understand us. Right. And they may have been some of our biggest competitors, some of our worst enemies, people to tear down your confidence, people to 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 beat you down to a weakened position. Especially if it started at early on, you know, in your childhood, the ones that didn't want you to be a pioneer, the ones that didn't want you to be an individual that didn't want you to live out your dreams or to even pursue your dreams. People who would try to kill your dreams. I'm getting somebody here. You have people is like you want to do something. OK, and you're trying to aim at something and, and they're busy trying to tell you, oh, no, that that's trash. It ain't going to never work. Oh, you know, that's never going to take you anywhere. Right. It's like even if it's not going to take you nowhere, that's not the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we you know, what I'm saying sometimes we may have uh, some some dreams that may be kind of like in the fantasy land. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe having dreams that, 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 that's uh, full of fantasy. But it's like at the same time, your family should not be the ones are the ones that love you, the ones that are supposed to love you and care for you. Should not be the ones that telling you to, to uh, beating you down. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll protect you, but at the same time, don't scar you. Some of us have been scarred by our own families, scarred to the point where it's hard for you to love, or it's hard for you to try, or go after what you want to go after, or it's hard for you to to allow yourself to stand out in a crowd. Or it's hard for you to uh, to speak your mind, all right? It's hard for you to to uh, pursue goals or even create goals. It's hard for you to stand in a place of a leader because you may have been used to getting beat down, getting your ideas uh, beat down, and people telling you that you can't do anything. And look what we have. It says nothing can stop you. You're all the way up. But the, the, the difference now between then and now is the fact that you've leveled up to the point where you don't need their approval. You don't need them to understand you. You don't need their acceptance. You don't need anybody to give you the go ahead on you living your own life and going and, and doing what you have in your heart or what God puts in your heart or what you feel that your mission is in life. You don't need nobody to tell you that it's okay for you to do that. Once you get the, the okay from God, you feel me the most high. Once you get that dream, that vision, okay, of what you're meant to be, what you should be, what you should be working towards. You're not asking other people, hey, should I do this? Hey, should I? Da, da, da. You're not waiting for them to give you an approval. You're not waiting for them to run this down the, the family chain and ask everybody, do what you think this person should do? What you think they should do? You, you don't care about that anymore. And that's the difference between then and now. All right. It's like they no longer can control you. They no longer have that 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 leash on you that that's stopping you from moving outside a, a certain boundary. I'm getting some of y'all had a, a proverbial, you know what I'm saying, um, a leash around you to the to the point where you couldn't move around a certain area. You had a certain perimeter, a certain space where you had to operate within, and you couldn't step outside that space. I'm hearing. Some of y'all family dynamics had it to where you couldn't even speak up in general because you were not of a certain age. You were you haven't achieved a certain thing or whatever. Oh, my brother over here did X, Y, Z. So that means that he can talk over me or talk down to me or told me how to live my life. Da, 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 and I'm supposed to just deal with it. It's like, no, you're not. Uh, you are not subscribing to that type of rhetoric. You ain't subscribing to that type of mentality. Because you a grown-ass man, grown-ass woman with your own mind, your own life to live, your own path. Yeah. And it's like people think that, like, you're you supposed to, and especially in the family, if you come from a certain type of family, they feel like, oh, well, you're supposed to listen to the elders. You're supposed to do what that I say. Oh, your brother, your sister's older than you. You're supposed to listen to them. They're supposed to be like the parents. They're supposed to be the da No, it's all about having balance. It's that Libra energy that I'm picking up here. Somebody could have Libra in their chart. You don't necessarily have to have it in there. But it's about balance. It's about being in a harmonious environment. You feel me? 
and being in a in a, an environment that is fair. And what we talked about things being fair for you with the justice energy with one, two, three, four. We talked about things being fair for you. It says someone you haven't heard from will contact you soon. So somebody going to reach out to you from your past. Now, how you deal with that is how you deal with that. <laughs> okay. Because um, I don't know about y'all, but if somebody treated me some kind of way, disrespected me in the past or whatever, I'm not dealing with you. Like you had your chance. You know, I'm not going, I'm not going to, Hey, you might've grown, evolved. You might not act like that no more, but depends on the vibes that I pick up. I might not give you a chance to prove that to me. I might just be like, Hey, da -da -da. I hope you're doing well. Da -da -da. Keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it has nothing to do with like, Oh my God, did you forgive that person? Yeah. You forgive me, but you move on. But at the same time, when you forget people, you make that decision of whether or not you want to keep them in your life. You don't got to keep them in your life just because you forgave them. That's not what forgiveness is. You feel me? Mm -mm. What else we got from this, this this deck right here? Yeah, I feel like it's elements that that you not out. You've outgrown these elements, right? You've gone through the the motions with them. Right, you've um, there's too many cards, y'all. Sorry, you've gone through too many emotions with these people, you've gone through these cycles, um, and you've liberated yourself from these people, and you want to move forward. It says using your power to tear the ops out the frame. Period. It's like somebody done awakened the beast, bro. Somebody done attack you too many times. Done disrespected you too many times, okay? Done broke your heart too many times. I don't know. Whatever they did, they really awoken the beast within. You feel me? It's like, no, you're not going to do nothing. Now, I'm going to tell your head off if you come at me with that BS. That's why I said they can't treat you like how they treated you before. And I feel like a lot of these people, they're up for they in for a rude awakening. They're in for a rude awakening because they're they're expecting an older version of you, one that they were able to 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 handle, one that they were able to mistreat, one that they were able to 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 I just heard Molly wow, what the hell? One they were able to, you know, to do any kind of way and they would get away with it, but now they can't get away with it because it's a different day now, right? You've come into yourself. You know yourself more, right? You're stronger than you were before because you know yourself more, because you allow yourself to to come out of the shell, uh, per se. You've allowed yourself to to grow, right? You went gone through a spiritual awakening, number seven. You might have gone through a few a few spiritual awakening moments, um, but it's allowed you to grow physically. Some of you guys have adopted different prince, uh, spiritual principles or uh um and that's helped you. Some of you guys have adopted um, certain religious principles or whatever, and it, it it's allowed you to grow. It's allowed you to come up out your own shell, and it's allowed you to, to stand up for yourself and set uh, healthy boundaries for you, okay? It says, spend time renewing your body, mind, and soul connection to spirit. You see what I'm talking about? It's like, you've gone through this awakening. You've gone through this challenging time or period in your life, and things can never be the same. No, it can never be the same again. Like, it, it ain't no going back from this point. Like, there's no going back to where you were. You've already experienced all that, and you ain't going back. Comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG, one, two, three, baby. Yeah, no longer can people tell you what to do, how to do it, how to dress, how to talk, how to da 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 Nothing. If it's not in your heart, if it's not something that you would naturally do, or if it's not something that you don't want to do, you're not doing it. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of people are going to take that as you being stubborn, but it's not you being stubborn. It's you being true to you. Yeah, it's you being true to you. Somebody, be careful of somebody coming from your past wanting to have a connection with you. Yeah, be careful of somebody trying to come from your past trying to i said oh i just heard trying to take your body from you what the hell what is this invasion of the body snatchers here but it says a moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain oh my god bro hey, be careful of somebody coming back from your past and this person is coming with this poison i'm getting poison okay i don't know if their body is poison 
I don't know if their mental is poison, the emotions, whatever, is poison, their mind. I don't know if it's their spirit that's poison, but there's somebody I can, because I got the reference of body snatchers, because somebody could try to take something from you, could take some of your essence from you, could implant you with negative forces, could implant you with negative entities or demonic entities, okay? It says nobody is about to knock you off your throne. It ain't going to work. You feel me? So if they come in, oh, that's that invitation, bro. Somebody about to come in with an invitation, with an invitation. Mm. Someone you haven't heard from will contact you soon. This could be someone you out of contact with or this could have been somebody that you just haven't heard from. Okay. Y'all may be cool. You just haven't heard from that person. I just heard for somebody that didn't respect you enough to even tell you that they weren't talking to you no more, that they were leaving and they, they, they were doing whatever. Or, hey, uh, I'm not feeling this right now, whatever. I don't know. Somebody may have left you on red, may pop back up. I just heard the disrespect is real. Nobody's, yeah, this person's trying to knock you off your throne or their antics, their antics, okay? The person who they are. I'm hearing rejection is protection. This person may have, this person may have been thrown off of your, wow, you're sent. This person was attracted to you before. For some of y'all, okay, this is not going to be for everybody. This is a general message, so take what apply, let the rest fly. But for some of you guys, this is somebody who was who was attracted to you. You might have been attracted to them, but nothing really happened. And then y'all just drifted apart for some reason. Or this person just stopped talking to you out of nowhere. Or just moved on, whatever. But it's like, I'm getting that they 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 got deterred away from you for a reason. So if this is somebody who you really wanted to be with, okay? You really wanted that experience with this person. You really thought that they, maybe they, they could be the one. Or maybe you just wanted to... to, to, to uh, to mess around with them or whatever. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? No judgment here. You might have wanted that experience in the bedroom. But I'm hearing that <clears throat> they were detoured away from you. They were guided away from you, pulled away from you. So this person, there may have been another individual who came into their life and who took their attention off of you and focused the attention on that person They and they left. Okay? Spirit said they left for a reason. Or they allowed that person to come into the energy to mix it up. To get that, to lure that person away from you. Okay, so be careful of, I just heard a close call. Somebody, this was a close call. Be careful of somebody coming back, okay, in your energy. And wanting to give it a second go. Wanting to give it the first go, you know what I'm saying? And because something never took place or something never happened, just be careful about that all right so let's see what else we got here for you guys yeah i'm hearing i'm hearing uh your spirit guys are talking to you right now so be careful listen to i mean can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth like listen make sure that you pay attention okay we have someone is planning to approach you but for what you see what i'm talking about yo somebody is about to approach you some look at this bro Someone from you, someone from your past misses you and has been thinking about you. So this is somebody from your past, bro. A moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain. I don't like that energy right there. Yo. I don't like that. Somebody could ask you, let's go hang out. But it's like this person could be also be an NPC, a zombie, a sleeper. Somebody who you're not. This is not your kingdom spouse. This person even on the, this ain't of your soul tribe. They're not your soulmate. You just have a moment in time together. You just might have you might have worked in the same company together at one point in your life. You might have had the same friendship, had the same friends or something like that. You might have this confirmation for somebody. This may have been like a mutual friend that you met at one time. This could y'all had some this could have been, yeah, somebody that you worked with before for somebody here. I don't know. Or a neighbor that used to live in your area and they moved away. I don't know. It's like uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> That's all I'm getting. Uh uh. You feel me? Look at this, bro. Uh, let's talk about. It. Let's talk about it. Someone you haven't heard from will contact you soon. An invitation to dinner, lunch, a park meeting, whatever. Uh, someone from your past 
misses you and has been thinking about you. And then we have someone is planning to approach you. And then we also have no longer participating in your own suffering. Yeah, it's like you're not allowing certain people in your energy no more. I'm hearing keep that same energy. It don't matter if you got history with somebody. It don't matter if, bro, it don't matter. It don't matter if um, they've never physically or emotionally hurt, hurt you in the past or they didn't get that opportunity. For some of y'all, this person might have gotten an opportunity, right? Depending on who they are. But it don't matter. You're not You're not allowing anybody to play with you. You're not allowing anybody to come around or I'm hearing don't allow anybody to play with you. Don't allow anybody from your karmic past. I just looked at the karmic past, bro. I just looked right at it. I was sitting here looking at it for a minute. I'm like, oh, and then it registered. This this is a karmic from your past that's trying to come back. This is somebody who might be who might look at you as a missed opportunity. You feel me? Uh, it says take your rightful place among the stars. A promotion, elevation. See, you're being elevated. And the moment you're being elevated, it's like, why are you going to waste your time on this BS? Or with somebody who's maybe low vibing or maybe going in the opposite direction to where your elevation is, is headed or projected towards. Mm -hmm. It says any malice, envy, jealousy, negative energy sent towards you will be exposed. So it's like this person embodies some sort of negative energy. They embody some sort of negative energy. That's why it's coming up. It's like, bro, no, 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 no. Whatever they're showing on the outside, it's something underneath that's not right. I don't like it. Let's see who's coming. Let's. This could show how they how they gonna how they gonna appear to you. Oh, we're gonna see. Let's see what who is it. This person may be an introvert for somebody here. I've changed since the last you saw me. So this is somebody who's gone through some sort of change. Okay. Some sort of level up or just physical change for somebody here. I'd like to meet up with you. Look at that, bro. You see this confirmation right here. What else we got here? What else you want to tell us? I'm waiting for you to approach me. This could be somebody who, who was waiting on you, who was waiting on you to contact them. I think you will reject me. This is somebody who, who was waiting on you. Maybe they, maybe you were the one that didn't talk to them. Maybe you were the one that, that stopped talking to them or you the one that you were the one that ghosted them or just you were the one that cut it off. We're already friends. So this is somebody you're already friends with. Yeah, it says you know me well. Yeah, this is somebody you already know. This your friend. This is a friend you stopped talking to. That wants to come back. It says we already, we already, we already, we are already cool with each other. Yeah, this is a friend you're already cool. You already know this person. Y'all cool. I don't make enough money right now, so they could be having money issues. You've ghosted me before. You see, bruh, bruh. What did I just told y'all? What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? You ghosted that person before. Or that's what they saying. They said you 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 stopped talking to them. They saying that they was they were still ready to go. RTG one two three. <laughs> they were ready to go. It says I feel you don't even see me. Wow. There's somebody who feel like you didn't even give them a chance. You might not have given them a chance for a reason. You might have felt something off or I don't know. Maybe you were distracted. Maybe you were the one that was distracted away from this person. Yeah, it could it could have been you. Mm-hmm. It could have been you. What we need to know about this person. You know what? I want to use this deck. Let me use this other tarot deck right here. Let me use this deck right here. What do we need to know about this person? What energy are they coming, showing up on? Ooh. Ooh. 
five of wands and four swords look at the four swords though and look at the five of wands gossip conflict some sort of scandal is behind this person this person may have a bad reputation for somebody here this person may have been sick and I did say something about somebody's it's not gonna be for everybody but I did say that about somebody's body being poisoned because I got poisoned somebody could have been somebody could have been sick this could have been the poison could be you know spiritual physical emotional you know what I mean somebody could have been in the hospital somebody could have been involved in some sort of scandal where everybody knows about what happened everybody but you yeah, this person was dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of burdens. This person may have maybe embarking upon a new start in their life. Yep, and they wanted to return. Look at that, bro. <laughs> this person may have had a tough experience in life. They may have gone through a challenging time. Okay, that's where they may have lost money. They may have lost money due to medical issues, or lost money due to some sort of scandal. But this person wants to pop back up like, surprise, I'm back. I'm back. What's that song? I'm back. Let me see. That's wall to wall. Let me see. What, what, what lyrics is that saying? That's the reason why that song popped into my head. Oh, that's what he told Chris Brown talking about wall to wall. We're going to see what he's talking about. And then we're going to check the lyrics because I can't even think of the lyrics right now. But they keep coming from wall to wall. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Pull up, put up, pull up, pull up. Can't believe the girl, the girls club packed. What up? What up? Shorty want to lead me to the back? Ain't been been in here 15 minutes, got a pocket full of digits, and she just won't take no. Hold up, hold up. Now the mama wanna get mad. Slow up, slow up, saying she don't wanna share, share what she have. Ain't no particular one that's getting the water gone, so many that I want. They packed up in here, water walling. I don't see nothing but ladies calling. I'm trying to give one of them all this. But they keep coming from wall to wall. <laughs> they, they what? <laughs> they packed up in here wall to wall, and I don't hear nothing but ladies calling. I'm trying to get <laughs> one of them all this, but they keep coming from wall. He said another two just came up and said they love me on the radio. Two twins, that's cool. That's a cool little scenario. <laughs> They talking leaving right now. Want to put in some time because you know what they are ready for. One talking how she liked the way I pop. And the other one said she want to just watch. I'm game for any damn thing. But there's more than 200 dames that's ready to go. So, bro, look at this five of wands. There's a lot of competition. This person might have them coming from wall to wall. Yo, <laughs> Uh, this person might have been, they might have been a player back in the days and you might have known it or you might have got that vibe from this person that they was a player in the back of the day, in the back of the days, in the in, in, in back in the days or they had a lot of options or they had a specific option or something was going on with this person that you was like, mm-mm. <laughs> Especially if you ghosted this person, you was like, mm-mm. <laughs> I don't want none of that, you feel me? I don't want none of that. We got four pinnacles and the star. I feel like this person uh, was closed off to you. They kept to themselves. They may have been very, very popular still also too. They may have had you on a pedestal or you may have had them on a pedestal. They may have, they might, this person might have seen, might have seemed unattainable to you because they were so closed off they had a lot of people at girls and men after them yo and then you might have just said bye 
you was like, I don't want to, uh-uh, like, it's, I'm not finna fight for you. <laughs> I'm not finna, I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to, mm, uh, compete. We ain't about to do none of that. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about them? Give us something for the feelings. Yeah, I feel like this person was popular. They got a lot of, they had got a lot of attention. Yeah, you felt, you felt like this person made you happy or that you would be happy to get with this person. But that happiness was short lived. Yeah, because of secrets, because of something was going on. Like now you don't know. Now it's like it went from happiness to like confusion. You feel me? Like, yeah, at one point you thought this person like I, I feel like some of y'all still think about this person. You still think about them. You still think about them. You still daydream about them. All right. There's some of y'all y'all still have good feelings about this individual. Yeah, some of y'all y'all still trying to manifest this person or you're manifesting a um a reconciliation with this person or 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 a connection with somebody that you can actually have a, a loving connection with, right? Have that intimacy with instead of somebody trying to close you out. I feel like y'all, you know, at one point you might view this person as wish fulfillment, especially with the star energy here. But now I feel like you come in into you come into grips with the reality of the situation and you're like, mm, I don't want that. This person this person was giving me the five of pentacles. I mean, they were shutting me out. They weren't talking to me. It was hard to get to know this person. This person might have had a wall up. What was this person's problem? Let me see. Their attitude. What their attitude? <laughs> their attitude towards you was mainly based off of uh, sex, okay? Or they may have had a materialistic attitude, period. You feel me? Where they were just like, oh, well, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Look, wall. They keep coming from wall to wall. Yes, I'm trying to see. What do you say? I'm trying to see which one of them something, which one of them want all this, which one of them about to give all this or whatever. It's like, yeah, passion, passion. This person was focused on the passion. Like, who's going to woo me? Yo, I feel like this person had people bowing down to them, bro. Mm hmm. They had people throwing themselves at them. This is this is somebody they had this. This person, this person must have looked good. This person was beautiful. This person was handsome. This person was like, yo, they was one of them. You feel me? It, this person like. People wanted wanted to get in this person's draws. You feel me? Like they wanted this person. This person had a lot of options. Is what I'm, I'm what I'm is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, they had a lot of options. This person may have been the type of person to where they used to people coming towards them. Like, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this person was in they. Um, I don't want to say what I was thinking. But I just heard uh, Lay Banks saying, uh, uh, Lay Banks saying men being men, they men is moving into their soft girl era. Era. I don't know if y'all know Lay Banks. Um, what's the song? Ick. He gave me the ill. No, Lady Boner gone. Try humping me, Anthony, like a. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> he gave me the ick. Ick, 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 ick. It, 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 it. That's what I'm hearing. Ew, lady won't have gone. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably don't know what that is. <laughs> y'all like, what the fuck? But, yo, it's like, this person is, they used to people chasing them. They used to people, um, <laughs> I'm hearing auditioning. Auditioning. Um, even though this person has an introverted side, they're very, very uh, popular, especially with the star energy here. Like, no matter how much of an introvert this person was, um, with the four pinnacles to the star, they were a star, okay? I mean, I'm going to call a spade a spade. This person was a star. This person was, like, people wanted to get to know this person. This person, the hint of sirens. Yo. Yeah. This person is used to being catered to. They used to getting what they want. They keep coming from walls. 
I want to pull something from Unfinished Business before I continue with this. But yeah, this person is like, yo, who's going to razzle and dazzle me? Who's going to, you know what I'm saying? Who's going to put out for me? Who's going to woo me? Who's going to, you know? <laughs> I just heard bust it wide open. Who's going to bust it wide open for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to waste my time on you if you're not going to bust it open. Or this person might not even said that to you. They might have just been picking up on the signs like, oh, this person, they, they don't seem like they want it like that. But this person over here wants it. I'm about to go over here. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But let me see something. I want to see unfinished business. Let's look at unfinished business. Let's pull something from unfinished business. Aki. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this person, I feel this person was fine. I feel like that feel like they fine, fine. You feel me? And it's like, at the same time, you want something that is fair. You want someone that is fair. Like, you don't want to be chasing nobody. You want, you know, it to be mutual. You want both parties to be moving towards each other. You know what I'm saying? Not like, I'm hunting you down, trying to convince you, trying to persuade you, trying to force you to pay me attention. Even though this person had you know, interest in you, it wasn't enough interest is what I'm getting. But you, you want to manifest somebody who was equally yoked. You want to manifest something where you could be happy in, you know? And I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all came to terms that this person ain't, mm, they ain't checking for me like that. Oh, they take it for me and everybody else. Like, ain't nobody about to chase you, run after you. The fuck? Let's see. I can see I can see things clearly now. I know what I want. I know what mistakes I've made. You see what I'm talking about? Like, this person had too many options. I will never love another the way I love you. It's like they had a lot of options then, baby. You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> and that's why, see, that's why I said... Don't chase, attract. We are not one of them. Yeah. We're not chasing nobody down. But it's like, you not chase, You better not chase nobody down. You better not chase nobody down. You better, yo, if they ain't coming towards you, it's not, it's not telling you to chase them or for them to chase you. It should be mutual. That's my whole, that's my thing. It should be mutual. It shouldn't be like you making them. No, it's like, she's playing hard to get. It's like, you're not playing hard to get, and they're not playing hard to get. Like, it's like, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because I got a whole PlayStation. I got a whole Xbox. I got a whole laptop, whatever. Da, da, da. I could go play games on there. I'm not playing games with y'all. You feel me? <laughs> I have intimate dreams about you. So this person is dreaming about you, dreaming about y'all being intimate together. You feel me? It says, no matter how much I try, I can't stop thinking about you. The feelings between us are so intense that it scares me. So, y'all had a lot of chemistry. I feel like you and this person had a lot of chemistry, but somebody, Leo energy here, was proud. Somebody was dominant, you feel me? Or, yeah, look, see what I'm talking about? I should have told you about them and not juggled you. I thought I could handle this. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this person had a lot of other options. They wasn't like, they couldn't give you, they couldn't give you what you wanted or even, because this is giving me, it's really giving me a scenario to where y'all wasn't even ever together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't even get kicked off. It didn't get kicked off past uh, the getting to know you stage because this person had so many other options. I never received love as a child. So I don't really know how to show it. And it's like, they weren't giving you what you needed. It's like, maybe they were used to, and especially if a person doesn't know how to show love, like maybe they didn't know how to like to express themselves like that. So they let other people do it. And so they were waiting on you to do all the expressing. They were waiting on you to do everything instead of them you know, working and yeah, it says the last time I reached out to you, I didn't tell you all the things I wanted to tell you. I was scared. You see what I'm talking about? 
Yeah. And it's like, I let others around me stop me from pursuing and keeping you in my life. You see what I'm talking about? I, I feel like y'all got tired of this person. Y'all got tired. Y'all was like, you know what? I'm out of here. You know, I'm out of here. I'm not going to sit and wait around for you. For what? For what? Okay. <laughs> it ain't going to work. I feel like y'all got y'all got to the point where you're like, mm-mm. This is too, it's too, this, 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 this is high maintenance. <laughs> this is too high maintenance. It's like, I'm doing all of this work, or maybe you weren't doing all the work. I don't know. But it's like, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. What's this? How many cars is this? Okay. Somebody may apologize to you or they want to contact you and apologize to you or contact you and start over. Somebody feel like they're being guided. They feel like they're being guided. Somebody may be uh, talking with somebody else. Okay. You may be on your guard. Nine, nine of wands. Yeah. Because I feel like you may be on your guard because you don't know if this is going to work out or not. Yeah. You don't know. What to expect from this person. You don't know what they bring in. But this person wants to start over with you. They could be flashing some money. They feel like they missed some sort of opportunity. Okay. This person finds you. I'm hearing, where is the love? I'm hearing, I'm seeing all like physical cards. This person's like, let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. <laughs> They want to get in the physical. They want to hear your body talk. They want to hear your body talk, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oof. Processing, processing, processing. <laughs> Let me pick some of this up, bro. So, somebody, somebody from your past, this person, want to ask you out on a dinner. They want to ask you out, but this is warning card here. Like this person's energy, it's something about this person's energy. It's something about them that's gonna set you back a thousand years. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna set you back. Something about this person. Something about whatever they're doing or whoever they are. It's like I feel like you guys are not on the same page. You guys are. You guys don't want the same things. This person is not on your level. Okay, I mean. I'm not trying to say, oh my God, you're so much better than these people. They're not on your level. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting this person is not on your level. They're not on your level. I feel like. Hmm. I feel like you can do better. I feel like you can do better. I feel like you can do better. Look at this. You see what I'm talking about? I told you y'all not on the same page. Y'all not y'all not y'all not equally yoked, bro. Look at this. This is I I asked what will happen if you give this person a chance or what will happen. This is what's gonna happen. What would happen? Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Tower. And you see, the two in the tower are walking away from each other. You showing up as, whether you're male or female, you showing up as the Queen of Cups and this person as a Knight of Cups. So there may be an age difference or there just could be, um, what do you call it? A maturity difference, okay? This person may have a lot of maturing to do. This person may he may be able to offer you a lot of pleasure, but that pleasure go that pleasure could cause you a lifetime of pain. Mm. There's something about this warning that I don't do not like. I mean, we could have gotten all the cards. Oh my god, it's gonna be a good time. Oh my god, oh my god, sexy, sexy. Da, 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 da. But it's like it's something back about this that I do not like. A moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain. I don't like that. I don't know, you know, you know what I mean? 
I don't like it. It's not sit. It's not sitting well with me at all. Hmm. Yeah, it ain't sitting well with me. Mm mm. I ask what you're bringing to the table. You bring in this empress energy to the table. Emperor, em, emperor, and em, emperor, emperor, empress energy to the table. That's what you bring in. You bring in top shelf. You bring in the best. That's what you, when you go to the restaurant, you go to a restaurant, you be like, give me, the, give me your most expensive bottle. That's what you bring in. You are that expensive bottle. You feel me? And this person is bringing eight of pentacles. <laughs> they may be focused on their work they may be focused on working yeah look at this a eight of swords bro bro like this person may need to be focused on their work not not no not no relationship you don't, you don't know how 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 you don't know how this looks what you're bringing to the table is the empress energy, abundance, blossoming, blooming, top shelf, creation energy, beautiful energy, abundant energy, and they bring eight of pentacles. They like, basically they say, I'm just bringing me. I ain't got nothing else. I'm still denied the cups. I'm just, I'm just bringing me. And you bring in, you queen of cups and empress. Is you what? What? Yeah, yeah. See how this will not work out. You see how? Do you see why the tower moment is here? The tower moment will happen. And it will lead you to someone else, the emperor. So this tower moment, or after you meet this person, or after this person shows up, after that, it's gonna lead you to a counterpart. It's gonna lead you to somebody that you're equally yoked with. The emperor confirmation, look at that, y'all. You see what I'm talking about? It's gonna lead y'all to Somebody who's on your same page, somebody who is of your soul tribe, who's somebody who's on the same level as you, who wants the same thing as you, somebody who you can grow with, somebody who you might have a family with, you, you're going to be able to build with. Yeah. So it's like you want to waste your time on Knight of Cups or you want to want you want to have that emperor, empress type of uh yeah, look at this. Emperor. Like somebody who knows what they want. An equally balanced connection to where you guys. It's see another confirmation. Like it's 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 just beautiful, you feel me? That you have the potential to manifest something like this. Mm. But it's gonna be up to y'all. It's gonna be up to y'all what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys are going to be so shocked and so surprised that this person is returning from the past. Because it's, it's, it's just like, oh my God, you're finally, oh my God, you're back. Maybe we can see what, what, what can happen now. But it's like a moment of pleasure. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like a moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain. That's not sexy. You feel me? It's not sexy at all. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but it don't look appealing to me. A moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain. No. Miss me with the bull. You feel me? Mm -mm. No. What were you at one time, bro? No. <laughs> no. Uh. 
let's pull y'all something from ladies and lords and ladies. Wow. Confirmation that's the right deck. Okay. And who's who's this? Hold up. Mm, never mind. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, spirit is telling you. Mm -mm. No longer participate in your own suffering. This is like you not putting yourself in situations that's uh, going to bring in suffering for you, right? You not allowing anybody, you not allowing that knight of cups to knock you off your throne. You breaking generational curses. For some of y'all, this could be a part of a generational curse. So where you're, you're, you're having offers and accepting offers that, oh, I just heard beneath you. Wow. <sighs> but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, offers where you deserve more than this offers where you're you're offering more but you're receiving less like you're offering 100 percent and you're receiving 25 percent mm -mm -mm. nothing can stop more confirmations spirit is like listen somebody need to listen somebody need to listen i don't know who it is somebody need to listen Somebody can have a lot of malice, envy, and jealousy, and, neg and negativity in their heart. Mm. You about to be promoted. A lot of times when you're about to be promoted, these people come into your energy to sidetrack you. Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. I don't know what they bring in. There's, and, and, and malice, and envy, and jealousy, and negative energy sent you. Mm -mm. This could be coming from somebody that's connected to that person. This person could try to talk to you, and if you talk to that person... Their suitors, that other suitors that they dealing with be around them could be sending you evil eye because they don't like y'all being together. Bro, come on now. Too much baggage, too much BS. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. Spend time renewing your spend time renewing your body, your mind, your soul connection. Take your rightful place amongst the stars. Promotion. See, this is your throne, baby. You queen with a queen with a king, emperor with an empress. Not no empress with a knight. Emperor with a with a with a princess. Nah, emperor needs an empress. Empress needs an emperor. Whatever you feel me, y'all. Yeah. Nah. Whatever you relate with, you feel me. It's gotta be equal. You know what I mean. It's gotta be equal match can be you 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 giving you know something they say doing too much look at this <laughs> see what i'm talking about exactly what i'm talking about doing too much you can't be doing too much and expecting to get that same thing from back from people when you're doing too much when you shouldn't be doing too much in the first place i'm just being keeping it real with y'all right and see a lot of us have already done this in the past we've done too much uh, some of y'all have already done it with this person you've given this person so much but they didn't really understand or they didn't really get it or they didn't, didn't really value it. S whatever it was, it didn't work out. So stop doing it. You feel me? That's what I'm hearing. I'm just being real with y'all. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat nothing. Stop doing it. Number 17, doing too much creates disharmony in your vibration. It needs to, like I said, it needs to be them doing something and you doing something. It can't be like you doing everything. You know what I mean? No. No. So it's telling you stop doing everything. Stop letting, you know what I'm saying? It's not to say, well, the next person that comes around, I'm going to kick my feet up and I'm going to let them do everything. It's still out of balance. It's still the same thing. Just like I'm telling you, you feel me? I'm telling you, somebody going to tell them, hey, stop doing too much. Leave that person alone. They don't care nothing about you. We don't want to be like that, especially if you if you really like somebody and you, wanna, you really want to see, you know, you really want to get with them or whatever. No, nah, don't do that. Nah, it needs to be both parties moving towards each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not going to be ODing. You know what I mean? We're not going to be ODing, doing the most, doing uh, backflips and bending over backwards and whatnot, and, and the person is not doing nothing. Nah, we're not here to entertain nobody. You feel me? If, we, if anybody going to be entertained, it'd be both of us going to be entertained and not just one person. Number 26, best course of action. 
bring peace into your life. That means that you need to do whatever is going to bring peace into your life. If you know somebody's chaotic, if you know somebody's with that chaos, confusion, energy, jealousy, envious, or they're attached to other people, or they, they attach to parents and, and friends and, and siblings who are toxic, who you don't like, who don't like you, stay away from them people. Some of y'all, it could have been their family getting into in, in the mix. You feel me? It could have been their sister. Somebody, it was a sister. Their sister was telling them, don't talk to you. It's like, no, no, we're not, we're not, mm -mm, no, no. It says, unite your heart and your mind. Allow calmness to be found. Yeah, because this next person you're bringing in is also going to be on that same timing. They're going to be on that same energy. Hell, even whether, it, whether it, if it, it's a friend or a new family member coming in, they're going to be on that same energy. They're going to respect you. They're not going to disrespect you or leave you. Think about it, right? If a person can leave you to, to, to where potentially another person can come in and take you away or, you know, solidify something with you, a connection when it comes to love, they don't want you. You feel me? Because <laughs> the one that truly wants you is not, is, is, is gonna, is gonna, like, I feel like if somebody really truly wants you, they're gonna, it's gonna, them knowing that the more they hold back from you, the more they, the more they don't work on things with you, it could potentially bring some, somebody else could come in and swoop you up. That's going to make them anxious. That's going to make them like, you know, maybe make them a little nervous and put a little fire underneath their ass. You feel me? But they're not going to just like, if they can sit there and know that and still don't do anything, keep it moving, bro. Keep it moving. We got number two out of the dark. Be the way of the new light and learning. Be the way of the new light and learning. What the hell are you talking about? Hold up, like, let me get this book. Okay, the message here. Uh, you are where you're. You are where you are because you chose to be. This was. Oh no, this is the wrong card. Hold up, I thought it was number. Oh, this is number two. Sorry. Sorry. Maybe I need to read that one, but I'm not. Okay. Uh, welcome on this journey of discovering a new path to the new earth, where the old ways of fear and limitation are gone, melted away, dissolved by the love of humanity. You are the light workers that have made this happen, assisted in raising the vibration of humanity to match that of earth as she evolves to her new levels of love, expansion, Beautiful and divine as you are. I, if you guys watch the last reading that I did, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll post them in order that I'm recording them. Uh, sometimes I don't. What was that reading about? What was that about? I don't know. If you meant to watch, you'll watch. Uh, <laughs> it says, we thank you for the steps you have taken on this journey. It has been difficult and yes, very challenging but worth each day of learning lessons, releasing karma of generations and that of ancestral path. You see the confirmation there. What are we just, what are we, what are we talking about? We talked about the family doesn't respect you, but you are breaking generational curses. And this card says what? Releasing karma of generations and that of ancestral path. Today, we ask that you continue this journey to help awaken those that have lost their way, held back by the heavy energies of fear, falling prey to the darker forces that continue to keep them in the dark. Continue to shine your bright light for others to see. They will know and be guided by your shining beacon of light. Journey forward, emitting your powerful love force and be the light others need to light their way and bring them out of the dark. All right. All right, y'all. Hmm. All right. Let me pick y'all a Ganesha and then we'll close this out.
Let's see what we got here for you guys. Did something flip over? Yeah, that one flipped over. Take responsibility for your actions. Wow. That was loud, live in, in living color. Take responsibility for your actions. So spirit is saying, look, what was that initial thing? That was another reading that I got that card. And that, that kind of like, it was like, it's up to you. That was like 12, no, 21, 12. Yep. This card came to my mind. This 21, 12 came to my mind. It says it's up to you. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. Okay. That message is for somebody. So Spirit wants you to take responsibility for your own actions. If you allow yourself to go down a pathway that you know is not good for you and Spirit already told you don't go down that pathway, then you have to take responsibility for what happens. Okay, don't go down that pathway. But I'm getting that we should all be get out of that lust energy, get out of that 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 dream fantasy and see it for what it is with certain people that we've already learned lessons from. Give me one more. And keep moving forward. And and don't let anybody sell you short. Don't let anybody give you less than, okay? Know that you're worthy, you're worth the best. And maintain that confidence, knowing that you deserve the best. And don't let anybody give you anything less. It's confirmation. We got a lot, we got a lot of confirmation today. We got a lot of confirmation today. When you accept, look at this. When you accept anything that comes to you, you are saying yes to the universe. So if you accept any old thing from the unit, from, from the world, from people, you're just saying, oh, yes, I love it. You know what I'm saying? But if you know you deserve better, then don't accept it. You feel me? Fight the urge to put yourself into a bad situation. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG123. Give it up for the confirmations, baby. Just saw 808, my area code. So <laughs> fight the urge to put yourself into a bad situation. I'm hearing you already know it's bad. Don't put yourself in there. Fight the temptation. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah that mofo fine. Yeah, they fine. They sexy. Yo, they real sexy. I know that mine. <laughs> I'm hearing that. I just heard, oh, what in the world? I just heard I know you tingling. <laughs> But fight that urge, fight that urge. You don't, don't, don't go down that road. Cause like I said, this, this message that I got right here, it still does not sit well with me. I don't, it just, I don't know. Let me see the message. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna show y'all one more time. It's still, it did, this is not, it still does not sit well with me. It's just like, whoa, whoa. to drill this in your head you feel me a moment of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain really think about that really marinate on that message okay so that's what i got for you guys if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more if this resonates for you please comment in the comment section down below let me know how you guys feel about it much love and light to everybody out there obrigado gracias a ti Ciao. Mm -hmm.